Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to continue our tower defense game part 4 of this epic series oh, sorry our title okay. so this is where we left off the enemy can move and we can place towers and the towers can absolutely shoot. So in today's video, we're going to make the enemy uh, like die, and we will too add a start button, start the next wave button. So let's make it. So I'm going to inform you that. In the last episode, I did put the point custom block in here, but in today's video, I'll remove it because there's a bunch of lags when you put it. So now, let's go. To we will make another sprite. We'll call this start button. We'll make it a simple button. Start next wait. Okay. So we we'll place it on top here. One green flag click. We'll show. Pointer equal set brightness flat negative twenty else will set brightness flat to zero. Maybe I'll actually clear graphic effects. So in here, if mouse down. You'll wait until not mouse down. We will broadcast a new message named next wave. And then we'll make another variable called wave. Full sprite. Then you'll change wave by one, and I will actually set enemy front zero to avoid bugs. And then you'll hide. And now in the enemies, we'll just remove this. Keep that. So in here, we'll put in when I receive next wave. If wave equals one, and wait. Actually, I'll edit this block. Actually, make a new block called 
create enemy on the screen refresh. Delete that for a sec. If wave equals one, we'll actually make another variable called enemies alive. Which what is wait false right? We'll set. Enemies alive, let's say five, and then we'll repeat five, and we'll repeat five. We will create enemy. Wait one second. And we'll wait until. Enemies alive equals one. We will broadcast wave complete and define create enemy. We will set. Oh, and actually, I'll edit this. Add an input. I'll call this type. Okay. And then we will set. Oh, um, wait. Actually, I'll make another variable called enemy type. This way only. I'll set enemy type type. Then we'll create clone myself. And then in here, we'll put it in. Push costume for enemy type, and in here we'll put in normal. Let's test that. Actually, start wave, and you see the normal enemies are coming, and it's five. So now, when I just put it here and then it just shoots like that for no reason. Now in the arrow when I start as a clone forever if is done if enemies alive is less than one then we will delete this clone. So in the enemies, um, we we'll put in when I start as a clone. Um, forever. If else, touching arrow. Then. Oh, and I forgot to inform you that I just made a variable named enemy lives. It's for this point only. Okay. So, wait. Actually, you know, when I start as a club, we'll put in an if else. If Enemy type equals to um, if enemy type is normal, and here it will set enemy lives to let's say um, wait, five, maybe three. Okay, now that's in. When I start to get out, if touching arrow, then we will actually repeat for we'll change.
brightness effect by 0.5 and then you'll immediately clear, clear graphic effects you'll change enemy lives to negative 1 ok wait ok I think that's it and in the bottom here we'll put another if less than sign if enemy lives is less than less than 1 then we'll delete this clown we'll change enemies alive to negative 1 and in here wait in here we'll to change enemies alive to negative 1 ok let's test it oh um, and at the start we'll just set enemies alive to 0 ok so let's test it ok can't shoot ok so start next way oh it's not appearing wait isn't it appearing problem is, the start button, we didn't set the way to zero. Set it. Ok, let's set it. Ok, it's appearing. Oh, um, it doesn't put it on target. Ok. Now, when it does hit it three times, and it's gone. So that's what we want. That's nice. Okay, and in here, when I receive a complete, I'll just shut. Oh, and you can. Now let's set it. Start. And it's working very well. So thank you for watching guys. Please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And peace. Bye. Scratch up.